dear friends, welcome back to Elena's Bar Low Impact Full Body Workouts. We are JB Fitness doing Pilates. Come join us for in person classes. We are having a lot of fun, right, ladies? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we have our regular star here, Loretta. Then we have Karen. And then we have Donna. Do you see Donna? Yeah, there she is. Okay, guys, prepare your tools. We are using yoga blocks, small Pilates ball, light hand weights. Resistance bands, a yoga strap, small pilates ball, did I mention it? And then we are going to use uh, the big balls to have fun with them, okay? So remember to please like, share, and subscribe, and adjust this practice to your needs and to your physical capabilities. Read the disclaimer in the description box. You are practicing at your own risk, at your own discretion. So let's begin. Have a seat. Good. And we'll start with a gentle warm up. Yeah, you can see that she's pretty tight today. Do you have any requests for today's class? No? No, thank you. I just do whatever. Okay. We will focus on stretching and then we will play with a big ball. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just that. Okay, so take a deep breath in, hands up to the side. Good, and then exhale, twist to your right. Nice job. You remember this one? It's a little yeah. bit of belly dancing, 
okay? So make sure that you align your elbows with the shoulders, sit up nice and tall, and let's go out and in. Let's start straight with the circle. Out, three, trying to keep the elbows right under your wrist, leaving with the wrist and let's reverse. One, two, nice control.
belly, expand the belly and with exhale you shrink it, right? Just for a difference and then you lace up your low abdominals and your pelvic floor muscles together and then you shift your breath into your rib cage, okay? So start pulsing with the hands, inhaling for five pulses and then exhaling for five pulses, keeping your neutral spine, breathing through the rib cage, okay? Now take a breath and with exhale lift your right leg up. And we will do a small exercise here to challenge ourselves. Open the knee out of the side. Make sure that the opposite knee stays in place. It's not counterbalancing. Breathing slowly down. Okay, we will do a little warm-up here for the lower abdominals. Switch side. Engage your toes. Good. Open. Bring it in. And slowly down. Okay? Now, lift your right leg up. Maybe you point your toes. You can micro-bend the knee. We'll start with a small circle here. Small circle. Watch the opposite leg. Is it counterbalancing? If it does, then reduce it. Make the circle smaller, more controlled. Okay? And then reverse it. Go very slowly, slowly, slowly. Nice. Just let's do three circles. Okay? Two. Keep pulsing with the hands. Three. Because otherwise, if your hands are on the floor, you can cheat without realizing that you are leaning to one side or the other, right? So hands will help you to stay focused and uh, in a proper posture. Let's go switch side. You can keep the knee micro band or you can extend the legs slowly with a smaller circle. We are going to expand into a bigger circle. No, don't move the opposite knee. Nice, and then reverse it. With control, breathing through your rib cage. Watch your neutral spine. Don't move your torso. Imagine you have a marble on your lower belly and they're not rocking, they're not moving. Nice. Okay, so the breathing. Now both legs up. Okay, we will start tapping with one side. Keep your knees right above your hips. Now you're pulsing. Yeah, this is a quite a bit of shoulder work out so here. Yeah. Good. And slowly. Inhale for five pulses, exhale for five pulses. Don't rush, okay? Slowly down for five. Don't arch your back. If you feel like it's arched, you're releasing the belly, reduce it. Don't lower the leg too far down, okay? Okay, let's try with the extended leg as well. Eventually, you notice that you're doing kind of, uh, you're doing this exercise intuitionally, right? You are feeling your body. You know what you need to adjust. Let's try to extend both legs. Keep your neutral spine. Slowly bring the knees in towards your chest. 
one more on each side, okay? Inhale, up. Preserve the space between the hips and the ribs. Switch the bind of the legs. Twist to your right. Land it, vertebra by vertebra. Finish in the circle. Circles with abdominals here. Two, three, 
windshield wipers we will try to do the other side with the obliques okay so come to one side and show that the heels hips forearm in one line you can do it with the hands up as well but you're going to start with the easier version okay so down down to the oblique and up. Three and four. Imagine like you are a snake there. Down and up. Down and up. Three. So here, yeah, so okay. you're pushing the hip. Good and slow and then down. Release. These ones are fun, but they are pretty challenging, right? So let's stretch it out over the chest, over the shoulders.
Okay, so let's try it on the other side. We'll just do four on each side, okay? So you can either stay here, okay, and do this, or you can go up like this. One, two, three, and four. Reversing it. Scooping now. One, two, three, and four. Nice job, please, really. I know, I know, I know. This one is intense. Whew. Okay. And then I wanted to get with you into this um, back extension. So let's down on the belly. You will stretch everything, okay? Bring your hands in front, lay down on your hands. Keep your feet down on the floor, okay? So your toes are touching the floor, but inhale. You lift your hand. Good. With the exhale, you bring it down and lift your toes. It's been a while since we've done this one, okay? Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Again. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. And last one. And exhale. And the arms. Inhale. And exhale. Stretch. Again. Inhale. And exhale. Stretch. Three. And then let's do the swimmer here with the opposite limbs. A little bit of coordination here. Elongate your back, elongate your neck. And slowly release. Release your head, release your neck. Rock side to side. Side to side. And maybe you reach to one leg. Maybe you reach to another leg. And then do the crawl. Trying to keep the knees narrow. Uh -huh. Three and four. So the knees like that. It's okay. Yeah, I know. And it's it's been a while since we've done this one. I can still capture my feet. Oh, that's, <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you can always use resistance bands for this one. Okay, if you need to or a strap. Oh, the back extension. Oh, this is why they're working on it now. <laughs> Good, okay. Better than I used to be. Yeah, well, I'm glad to hear that. So, let's come into a Sphinx or Mini Cobra. Okay, so make sure that your elbows are right under your shoulders. Good. Stay like this for a moment. Feel the stretch. So, we stretch now our abdominals and also working on the back extension here. So you can spread your hands wide, lifting yourself a little higher, okay? Nice. Good. And then slowly bring it down. Tap your toes. Lift yourself into a plank. Good. Rock back and forth a few times. wants to try to do this circle forward, up, and to the back, with the belly. Back scooping, and back. Without arching your back. And if you want to get into a downward facing dog completely, feel the stretching. And then through the head, bring it down. Good. Again. Downward dog. Working on the mobility of the spine, bring it down and stretch. Nice. Okay, so we come into a tabletop. We will do a few kicking cows here. Rounding your spine and pressing to that one hip. Then inhale, release the belly. With exhale, round your spine, navel goes in and then reach to the other side, okay? So again, release, and then up, and stretch, okay? Kind of like you did at the beginning when you were seated, it's a kind of similar sensation when we were crunching forward. And one more, it feels really nice for the back, especially to come through the 
warm it up and then lay down. Okay, so lay down, engage the obliques, and you're going knee to knee, toe to toe, knee to knee, toe to toe. Nice. Okay, knee to knee, extend the leg forward, tap down. Okay, bring it in, open, extend. Okay, a few more times like that. Good. Engage the oblique. And again. Nice. Good. If you want to take a ball, we are going to twist it, okay? Twist the legs. Leave them on the floor. Engage the obliques. Three. And four. Okay. Knees forward. Extend. And then up and down. I'm changing it up a little bit for you, okay? Knees forward, extend, up and down. Watch your obliques, watch your torso, you're not moving around, okay? Up and down. Nice. Now bring the upper leg on the ball, press into the band because you don't want to narrow it. So keep it behind. A few circles. One. Bring the toes pressing down and reverse. Two, three, engaging the obliques. Let's go. Flex forward, point back. Flex and point. Three and four. Okay. Well, lifting the legs now the hardest part, right? <laughs> point your toes one leg at a time. Try both legs up and down, up and down. Okay, now engage the lower legs. Start. Getting into developing and then down. So just pass it, extend and down. Three, good, and four. Okay, we'll only do four today, okay? <laughs> and then let's reverse it up, bend the knee, and sit. Two, I know. 
Cross. Three and four. So 
Look forward to seeing you soon, guys. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Take care. Bye. That was a